So I'll answer a number of questions that a subscriber has sent to me. And I'm at the last question. It's been a number of videos now. I did one on um, what's the difference between a business analyst and a systems analyst. You can go check out that video right here. I did one on how do you know that you could be a good business analyst? Like, What are you looking for? How do you know you should invest your time and energy into this career? What if you, it's not a good fit for you? How do you know that? And I answer that in this video right here so go check that out i also answered some questions on what are some of the software tools that you should be looking at as a new uh, business analyst someone who's just graduated college and trying to get into the space what software tools should you should you be trying to get and i answer that here um and i also answered about some of the skills that you would need um to become a good business analyst and that question is answered here so i've got a couple now it's been a very long email and believe me i have many other emails like this that ask me some very loaded questions and i am behind like what four weeks to five weeks of emails so if you've sent me emails and i haven't responded it's because you know these are the kind of things that happen like i have to respond to these long emails and I have a full-time job, I'm a full-time mom, and there's a lot going on in my life. So I do apologize, but I'll get to you eventually. I'll get to you eventually, right? Just like I got to this guy, eventually I will get to you as well. So this last question is about how best do I prepare for an interview for a business analyst job um, that would make an employer see me as a good fit, right? So this is a very loaded question and also a very important one. I do have a video where I go through um, interview questions. So watch this video, which talks about what are some of the typical questions that you should expect in a business analyst interview. And then I have another video, which I talk about um, how to do a business analyst presentation, because it's not just the interviews anymore. They also want you to present because they want to hear how you take a problem, how you can articulate it, how you can present it. So this video, goes to an example from an actual person who got this question for his interview. And he sent me that question and I actually walked through how to answer that question for him. And so you can go and watch that video to give you an example of how to prepare for a business analyst um, interview questions. So those are some resources for you. Um, but you know, how do you know if you're gonna be a good fit? And I always say that stop trying to make yourself fit them and try to analyze if they are a good fit for you. So you're the one doing the interview. You are so confident when you get in there, even though you have no experience, but you're so confident you're gonna work hard, you're gonna dedicate yourself, you're gonna dedicate your time, you're gonna bust your, you know what, on this job. You know you're gonna do it. So you need to analyze if they are worth the time that you know you're gonna spend on building your career. I know you need the money, I know you need a job for the experience on the resume. I know all of that. But at the same time, think about the value, your time, your effort that you're going to spend on this company. Are they worth your time? So don't think of them interviewing you. You need to think of you interviewing them and flip it that way because you're the valuable person, right? They are going to get benefit from you. So should you be spending your time with them? That's really how you should look at it. Now, in terms of a good fit, you need to know what you want from the company. You want to figure out their culture. You want to figure out their structure. You want to figure out not just how much they're going to pay you. That is the obvious, right? But are you going to be happy there? Is there room for growth? Are you going to learn enough so you can take this experience and build on it elsewhere? So you got you to gotta sit down and think of what's important to you. What are the things that you want to get out of them? And are they going to be able to provide that? And so when you go for your interviews, like I said in that video, you always wanna have two or three questions that are important to you that you wanna ask them. Questions like, you know, what's the team structure like, what you're gonna be working in? What are some of the projects that they're gonna be doing in the next 60 or 90 days that they want you to help with? Uh, what are the biggest struggles that they're having that you can come in and help to provide help for? So those are some of the things that give them a sense that you're interested in in knowing how you know how their business is working and also to give you an idea of what their structure is like because when you ask a question it gives them the opportunity to answer and they give you more colorful detail for you to make an assessment right so um if you're a novice and you want to know you know how you can prepare for an interview i would definitely say 
all of those questions I mentioned in that video would be absolutely important for you to know how to answer properly. Master those answers. And once you master those answers, the next step is if they give you like a, a case study to start practicing how to analyze things, how to come up with an answer, to think through a process, you know. As a person, in this case, this guy did mathematics. He's already very familiar with how to break down a big problem into smaller pieces, solve the smaller pieces, and then eventually get to solve the big problem. So he already knows that. So that's not even gonna be a challenge for him. Um, but for the rest of you, that's really how you, you attack an unknown. You try to break it down into different smaller subsets, solve those, and then you get the big answer. So practice doing that, right? Find case studies, find white papers, practice that so that when you go into the interview, you can speak to the authority. Like I said in the other one, engross yourself in the business analyst world. Watch the podcast. You're already watching my videos. Keep watching them over and over again so they sink in, right? Um, you know, follow other business analysts who are out there sharing information about the space. Um, you know, just find a mentor. Find a mentor. If somebody can help you directly, that would be the best way. I know they're hard to find, but if you find someone who's already out there providing information about the space, then maybe they'll be willing to also give you um, information directly. So those are some of the things you do. Once It's not a one-off thing that I'm going to do this one thing and I'm going to be ready for an interview. It's all the little things that you do. They come together. They form they form you. And so when you go into the interview, you have confidence by doing your case study, by writing your documentation, by practicing some of the software, by watching the videos, the podcasts, all that stuff, and you know, exposing yourself to business analysis. The more you do it, is the more you become familiar with it and the more you're able to speak to it. Having the right attitude is also important. I talked about that in the last video where you're gonna have this attitude of, you can, yeah, you can attitude, I can do this. And being confident, being willing to help. When employers see an employee or a potential employee who may not have the experience, but they have shown in every way that they possibly can that they're interested, they're, they're going to learn, they have been doing their own case study, they have their documentation even though they don't get a job, they're out there, they're doing stuff. They're following podcasts, they have certifications, different things. It doesn't have to be official business analysis certification. You could just be just, you know, practicing different things, right? And you can talk to that, you can speak to that, you can show enthusiasm. They will take a chance on you. Lots of people take a chance on you. So you just need to have the right attitude and do the work. There's no secret sauce. There's no magic. You do the work, you got the right attitude, you keep dedicated, you will get a job and you will get the experience. And once you get one job, then it, the other will just cascade. You can fall into the others um, more easily. So I hope this was helpful. I hope somebody benefited from this. I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to like and subscribe. And if you haven't watched the other videos of the other questions you asked me, then go and watch those. And for the people who have sent me emails, I'm sorry I haven't gone to them yet, but I will. <laughs> And for the people who are planning to send me emails, please, you can still send them to me. But know that it's not going to be like tomorrow I'm answering you, right? I have a backlog. So we'll see. Anyway, guys, take care. I will see you in the next video. Um, this is Carly signing off. Bye.